To appreciate the benefits that money brings to an economy, for a moment, imagine life without it. Money is a tool that people utilize on a daily basis. We earn and spend it without giving it much thought. Throughout history, money has taken various forms, including cowrie shells in Africa, large stone wheels on the Pacific island of Yap, and wampum bead strings used by Native Americans and early American settlers. Money, regardless of whether it's represented by a seashell, a metal coin, a piece of paper, or a computer mind string of code doesn't have value. The global value of money. Current estimates place the total global value of money at approximately $418 trillion. This depends largely on the value people place on it as a medium of exchange. A unit of measurement. And a store of wealth. Money enables the indirect exchange of goods and services. It facilitates the communication of prices and provides a means for individuals to store their wealth. This is the history of money. Kindly subscribe to the channel and click the like button, and let's get started. The evolution of money. Money is valuable as a unit of account. A socially accepted standard by which things are valued and accepted as payment. However, both the use and form of money have evolved throughout history. Despite the fact that money and currency are frequently used interchangeably, numerous theories indicate that they are not synonymous. According to some theories, money is an inherently abstract concept, while currency is the physical tangible manifestation of this abstract concept. The transition from barter to money. Since at least 5,000 years ago, money has been a part of human history in one form or another. Before that time, most historians agree that a system of bartering existed. A farmer may exchange a bushel of wheat for a pair of shoes from a shoemaker as an example of bartering. Nevertheless, these arrangements require time. If you are exchanging an axe as part of a deal that requires the other party to kill a woolly mammoth, you must find someone who considers an axe a fair exchange for having to confront the 12-foot tusks of a mammoth. If this fails, you would have to modify the terms of the deal until someone agrees to them. Over the centuries, a currency based on easily traded items such as animal skins, salt, and weapons emerged. This merchandise was the medium of exchange, even though the value of each of these items was still negotiable in many cases. This trading system spread across the globe and still exists in some parts of the world today. The introduction of money increased the speed at which business could be conducted, whether it involved mammoth hunting or the construction of monuments. Chinese archaeologists from the State University of Zhengzhou announced at the beginning of August 2021 that they had discovered the world's oldest and most precisely dated coin minting site. A mint is a facility that produces currency. This facility in Guangzhou, Henan Province, China, began striking spade coins, one of the earliest standardized forms of metal currency, around 640 BCE. First official money is created. Xenophanes, a Greek poet who lived in the 6th century BCE and was cited by Herodotus attributed the invention of metal coinage to the Lydians during this time period further west. King Elyats of Lydia is credited with minting the first official currency, the Lydian stator, in 600 BCE. The coins were made from electrum, a naturally occurring mixture of silver and gold, and were stamped with images that served as denominations. In the streets of Sadis around 600 BCE, a clay jar could be purchased for two owls and a snake. Lydia was one of the wealthiest empires in Asia Minor as a result of the influence of its currency on both its internal and external trade systems. Today, the phrase as wealthy as Croesus refers to the last Lydian king who issued the first gold coin. The transition to paper money. The Yuan dynasty of China switched from coins to paper currency in 1260 CE. By the time Marco Polo, the Venetian merchant, explorer, and writer who traversed Asia on the Silk Road between 1271 and 1295 CE, visited China in 1271 CE. The Chinese emperor had a firm grasp on the country's money supply and its various denominations. In fact, where the phrase in God we trust appears on modern American currency, an ancient Chinese inscription warned, those who counterfeit will be beheaded. 
Until the 16th century, metal coins were the sole form of currency in parts of Europe. European conquest of new territories resulted in the acquisition of new sources of precious metals. This allowed the European nations to continue minting more coins. However, banks eventually began substituting paper banknotes for metal coins for depositors and borrowers to carry around. These notes could be exchanged at any time for their face value in metal, usually silver or gold, coins at the bank. This paper currency could be used to purchase merchandise and services. In this way, it functioned similarly to currency in the modern world. However, it was issued by banks and private institutions. And the government, which in most countries is now responsible for issuing currency. The first paper currency issued by European governments was issued by their North American colonial governments. Due to the lengthy duration of shipments between Europe and the North American colonies, colonies frequently ran out of cash. Instead of reverting to barter, colonial governments issued IOUs that served as currency. The first occurrence occurred in Canada, then a French colony. In 1685, instead of French coins, soldiers were issued playing cards denominated and signed by the governor to use as currency. The emergence of currency conflicts. The introduction of paper currency in Europe facilitated increased international trade. Banks and the ruling classes initiated the first currency market by purchasing foreign currencies. The stability of a monarchy or government affected the value of a country's currency. And, consequently, its ability to trade in an increasingly global marketplace. The competition between countries frequently resulted in currency wars, in which competing countries attempted to alter the value of the competitor's currency by driving it up and making the enemy's goods prohibitively expensive, or by driving it down and reducing the enemy's purchasing power and ability to pay for a war, or by eliminating the currency. The Age of Mobile Payments Mobile payments and virtual currency are two novel forms of currency that have emerged in the 21st century. Mobile payments are payments made for a product or service using a mobile device, such as a cell phone, a smartphone, or tablet. Additionally, mobile payment technology can be used to send money to friends or family. Increasingly, services such as Apple Pay and Google Pay compete to have retailers accept their platforms for point of sale or POS payments. The evolution of virtual currency, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, which was introduced in 2009 by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, rapidly became the standard for virtual currencies. As of June 2022, the total value of the world's Bitcoin was slightly more than $392 billion. No physical coins exist for virtual currencies. The allure of virtual currency is that it promises lower transaction fees than traditional online payment mechanisms and is managed by decentralized authorities, as opposed to government-issued currencies. The history of money never ends. The world will continue to evolve and rewrite the history of money, which never ends. Obviously, we are on the verge of a massive transition to electronic transactions. In some markets, such as the business-to-business -business or B2B space and some consumer services, bartering still occurs on the margins, for example, as long as humans require a medium of exchange, the monetary